family. Today is Friday, October 27th. I'm here at Target because I wanted to look at, um, they have these trousers that I want to look at and their trous trousers tend to fit me very well. And then while I'm in here, Bella needs dog food and um, just some other miscellaneous stuff. Um, normally I would have gone to Walmart, but because I wanted to look at these pants, I'm like, let me go to Target. I'm not a Target girl. I don't make Target runs like that. But, you know, for the sake of doing everything in one swap, I was like, why not? I don't have really much going on this weekend. I am going to get my hair done tomorrow. I need a hair color, actually, but I think I can go two more weeks without getting it colored. Um, but I am going to get it done tomorrow. But let's go in here and see what Target has to offer. collective pieces this is by Reese Bluestein this is a wrap skirt and then um, this mini dress that has the back out and she is thirty two dollars Then we have a denim dress, cardigan, I guess. Then you have this dress. Oh, she is good quality. She is thick, honey. $38. Has a corset side. I know I do want me some I do want some wide leg jeans but I hate jeans that are trimmed in that especially when they're dark I can't stand it and make them look cheap to me and then here's the same black dress in purple so cute stuff from the future collective again this is Reese Bluestein Oh, this is cute. This is a dupe for, golly, is it the is it the Kate top? I can't think of it, but I'll insert it, and y'all know what I'm talking about. But it's cute. I would like somebody rolled around out in, outside in this. Here's another top. You can wear this on top of a white shirt or by itself. And then you have blazers and pants, puffers. All right, here's more from the same designer. I know this that this is that pajama look, and here's the top. Not really feeling wearing those together because I feel like it'll look like a clown suit. Just my opinion. On me anyway, but might be cute as separates. And it has pockets. Alright, Lux Celeste family. I'm done at Target. <sighs> Y'all, my Fridays be so uneventful because <laughs> I'm in the house all week and I by the time Friday comes I really be just trying to make up stuff to do just um as a means to get out of the house but I'm going to get me something from Red Bull which is right across the parking lot right now and then I'm going back home it's only 8 17 on a Friday night my husband's at work my son is I don't know he's somewhere child but it'll just be me and the dog mm -hmm. All 
y'all. I got my food from Red Bull. I'm finna run my car through the car car wash real quick. Um, it um got some bird poopity boop on it, and I want to get it off because you know if you let it dry, it will um it can mess up your paint. So I don't want to let it sit overnight. So I'm actually somebody's in front of me right now. I'm just waiting on them to finish just pay for you know a little quick little car wash and then after this i'm gonna drive out and head home and eat my food it's 8 42 so <laughs> this is about the most adventurous part of my friday night so I just sat down, let the dog out, came back in, washed my hands, and now I'm about to eat my food. Let me show it to you what I got. This is the poke bowl. It's tempura shrimp, grilled chicken, um, avocado, cucumber, sesame seed, brown rice, cream cheese, and it's another something in there that I can't remember. And then right here, this is the dynamite roll. It's just um, salmon, shrimp, tempura, um crab and it's deep fried so then i have my water but i'm gonna sit here and eat my food y'all and i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my boring friday night so i will talk to y'all tomorrow good morning lux for less family today is saturday october 28th it's early y'all it's 8 48 a.m y'all i have had a very productive morning so far this morning i got up I put on two loads of laundry. I put some color in my hair, some black color. Y'all know I'm going to the hair salon this morning. I logged on to my work computer. I did some work. And now I'm headed out of the door. I'm headed now to get my um, donut. Y'all already know it's Saturday. That goes without saying. I don't even have to tell y'all anymore that on Saturdays we get a donut. Y'all, these are these sunglasses that I was telling y'all about. You probably can't really see what they look like because I'm wearing this hat and I'm wearing this hat because my hair looked a whole mess under here because I'm going to the hair salon later. But um, once I have my hair done and I take the, the hat off, you'll be able to see how they look better. I really do like them. Um, but after I leave the hair salon, I'm going to Ikea and then whatever else the day holds. We might get in a little thrifting, might not. Um, Y'all, since I cleaned out my closet, <laughs> I have a lot of holes in my closet. I was going through it yesterday and I was like, well, dang, girl, you don't have this and you don't have that. But, you know, that's okay. You, you clean out old stuff to make room for new stuff. At least that's what I tell myself. But let's go ahead and get this donut and then go ahead and get this head done, child. <laughs> I'm done with my hair. Y'all can see the sunglasses a whole lot better now. Look at them, y'all. Now, y'all, I'm headed to Ikea. I need to look at these bookcases before the sale goes off and just make sure that's what I want to order. And if it's not what I want to order, order something else while I'm there. And then we're going to see what else the day holds. So let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are here at the thrift store. I wanted to take a peek to see what they have. I told you all earlier that as a result of me purging through my, purging my closet, I have some gaps that I need to fill. So what better way to do it than with a little bit of thrifting? So let's go. Mirror, to blush when somebody says your name. In my stomach, there's a pain. 
turn you walk in my direction I go the other up way I start to stutter with the speed You understand me, but my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window To a star for a sign It's the reason why In my notebook, checking how my hair and my nails look. I feel myself in the zone, looking nervous when you go. I say I'm not home. See your face, and I hear my favorite song. Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone. I wonder if you know, or do you have a clue? I lay my head on my pillow. If you got me staring out the window, we were sure the stars are assigned. What's the reason why? Y'all, I saw this messenger bag hanging on the purse wall behind the counter and I asked to see it. I don't own any Louis Vuitton bags, so I don't know what to look for as it relates to um, its authenticity. Some of my friends said the bag was probably real. Some of my friends said the bag was probably fake. It was $75.99 or $76.99, something like that. But I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I didn't get it because I wasn't sure if it was real or fake, but... In my opinion, if it wasn't real, it's a darn good replica, but these days you never can tell.
All right, Lux for Lux family, I'm done at the thrift store. Got some, you know, a few pieces to fill in some gaps in my wardrobe. I got my husband um, two nice suit jackets. For me, I got some other pieces. I got a Lafayette 148 jacket. Y'all know I told y'all anytime I see that in the thrift store and it's my size, I'm gonna get it. And then I got some other pieces that I'll share with you all later. I spent a total of $70. Now I'm headed to Ikea finally because I need to at least decide what I'm gonna get today, pay for it and have it delivered sometime next week. So let's go. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Okay, y'all, this is it right here. But in the white. Yeah, this is it right here. This will be perfect. So, let's order. I need a new credit card. That's not bad. These curtains are nice. Oh, they feel so good. I wish they came in black. Y'all, I love this mirror right here. And it's only 179. I love this. Love it. It's me walking around this store lost. I tell you, I am walking in a maze. This store gave me anxiety. <laughs> I have walked around in a circle probably twice now, so we're gonna try to find our way out of here. A few moments later. Y'all, I think we found our way out. <laughs> I think we found our way out. After two trips around the store, I think we found our way out. So friendly, I'm standing here. All right, Lux for Less family, we are here at a new thrift store. Well, new to you, not new to me. It's called Hope's Closet. This is a thrift store that is part of um, a church here called, uh, what is it called? I think it's called Church of 1122 or church 1122 they have their own thrift store and this particular church has like um locations all around the city and usually wherever there's a church there's a thrift store that's in the same um parking lot or not very far from it and all of the thrift stores that um are owned by this church are pretty big I want to take you inside another thrift store just to show you that they are, there are more thrift stores than just the one that I tend to frequent the most, which is the thrift store. So let's go in and see what they have. circle in front of the store in a few minutes um i think i didn't mention to you all that this thrift store was owned by a church so it is um, a faith-based retail thrift store you can tell by what i've shown you so far that the store is curated very specifically
This is pretty, y'all. Look at this. This looking cute for the holidays. It's only six dollars. No. Oh, six eight. I'm assuming this one is ten, but it's really pretty. So far, I've only found my husband these um, polo pants. They're marked $14, but purple is on sale. So we're gonna get these for him. All right, Lux for Less family, I'm done at Hope's Closet. Those pants were only $3.50. Um, they were regular price, $14, and purple tags were 75% off. So I got $10.50 off of the pants, making them $3. 50 cents so that was pretty good um i'm heading out to get my eyebrows waxed because they look a mess and then i'm probably going to head home it's 5 56 so by the time i get home it'll probably be seven i have been gone since eight o'clock this morning so let's go you got no one that back calling me splurge let me jump right on the curve Bet this might fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third Solid, I'm keeping my word Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard Crack up the phone, I swear Keep me a stick if they purge Alright you guys, my brows are done You guys know I almost always say no feel And um, especially no feel today Because I'm headed home to You know, wind down And I'm going to be taking a bath in the next couple of hours so there was no sense in her filling them in and i'm just gonna turn around and wipe it right back off but i'll do a quick thrift haul with you all of what i purchased from the thrift store when i get home so let's go all right lux for less family it is hours later i'm back home i have decompressed for the day let me do a quick thrift haul with you to show you what I picked up. The first thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be from Hope's Closet. That was the last thrift store that we went to today. These are just a pair of Polo by Ralph Lauren pants. And these are just some pants for the hubs. They were marked $14. And purple tags were 75% off. So these were $3.50. But I just got these for him to wear to work. These are going to be going in the dry cleaners on Monday. But got these from Hope's Closet. This was the only thing that I picked up from Hope's Closet. All right, y'all. All of the remaining items that I'm going to show you came from the thrift store. Y'all know I love the thrift store. I go there all the time. That is my old faithful. Today in the thrift store, green was uh, not on sale. So it was full price. So the first thing that I picked up was this jacket for my hubs i y'all remember i told you all that my husband is a banquet manager and um occasionally he does have to wear a suit or either a blazer with pants so um i try to keep his wardrobe pretty stocked and um when i see things for him that he can wear to work i tend to pick them up but this is a jacket that i picked up for him it is by polo university and it was marked $5.99. So I paid $3 for it because yellow was 50% off. This is his size, but just a polo jacket that I purchased for him from the thrift store. 
All right, the next item that I picked up is also from my husband. It's another blazer that I picked up that he can wear interchangeably with bottoms. And this is by the brand Brooks Brothers. And this was marked $2.99, so it was not on sale. So I paid $3 for this Brooks Brothers suit jacket for the hubs from the thrift store. All right, the next item I picked up, this item is for me, but it is out of the men's section. I tell y'all all the time to shop the men's section because their clothes fit women pretty, pretty well. This is a Ralph Lauren shirt. And it was... $7.99 and I like this because it's pink and I'm going to look for some um, blue pants maybe like this color but got this for $7.99 from the thrift store and next item I picked up are these Steve Madden shoes now y'all know that these uh, Steve Madden shoes I think these shoes came out last year maybe maybe late 2021. I actually had a pair of these shoes in pink. I wore them to a Kentucky Derby party. And let me tell you something, those shoes hurt so bad. Those shoes hurt more than my Louboutins, they hurt. Let me tell you how bad they hurt. When I got to the Kentucky Derby party, I didn't drink anything all night because I was so afraid that I was going to have to get up and walk to the ladies room and I didn't want to do it in those shoes. But I saw these in the thrift store. These were $9.99, so they were half off. Now, I ended up selling those shoes coincidentally for like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the price that I paid for them because I simply just wanted to get rid of them. And I told the person, full disclosure, they hurt, they are uncomfortable. I had so many people asking me about those shoes. So when I saw these, I picked these up. These are a size eight. So I'm gonna be cleaning these up and listing these for sale. I only paid $5 for these in the thrift store. And I, like I said, I think these are a dupe for the Alexander Wang. And if I can find a picture, then I will insert it. But got these Steve Maddens from the thrift store. Cute shoe, by the way. All right, the next item that I picked up is a blazer. Now, this is by the brand Collections for Lace Suit. And it was marked $5.99. It was not on sale. And I like this blazer because it ties up like right here. This tie in the front is a cool detail for a blazer. It's very good quality. You can wear this blazer literally with anything. You can pair it with jeans. You can pair it with a skirt. You can pair it with just about anything. But got this blazer for $5.99 from the thrift store. The next item that I picked up is this lace shirt. Now, this is by Express. And she was $12.99. She was, you know, she was a little pricey. I almost left it. However, y'all remember those lace pants that I purchased from Express earlier this year? These right here, look, look at that. Now, about a month ago, Express actually had this shirt. They put it on their clearance um, on sale and they didn't have it in my size, so I didn't purchase it. But I saw it in the thrift store today. It has like a pebblum waistline and then it has like this tie it's just a faux tie it's just really just you know for the effect of the tie but it doesn't really um it's not a drawstring that's what i'm trying to say it has like these exaggerated shoulder pads and i just i'm telling you i almost left it but then i'm like oh that'll go really good with those lace pants and i'm going to an all black party later on this year this is going to be perfect so got this for $12.99 from the thrift store. All right, next item I purchased are these jeans. Now, these this is by Ashley Stewart, which is a plus size brand. And these say size 16, so these probably may be a little bit too big for me. And if they are, then 
so be it i'll just send them to a friend but um y'all know i have been looking for some dark wash jeans that have the tie in the front and you know that are also long as well these fit the bills but i haven't tried them on yet to see how they actually fit but these were only 9.99 they were not on sale but got these from the thrift store i do think these are going to be too big but i couldn't leave them not knowing so we gonna see all right next item i picked up is this jacket it's like a iridescent green ish y'all know a lot of people are saying that olive is one of the colors for the fall y'all know i'm not really a trendy girl but i always say if i like it and if it happens to be trending i'll buy it but i've told you all before about La lafayette 148 all of my lafayette 148 pieces have come by way of thrifting this was 14.99 and I like this because it has it has really nice a, a really nice zipper detail. Now I'm on the fence about whether or not I actually want to keep this jacket um, because although it is a really cute jacket, I mean the zipper detail is really cool. We'll look at it. it. Has this you know fold away lapel. I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to keep it. I'm thinking more about um, consigning this to Fifi's because the return that I can get on it is pretty good. Or who knows, I might keep it. But got this Lafayette 148 jacket, blazer, whatever it is from the thrift store. The last item, and this is my absolute favorite. This is a, a blazer by the brand Maxi Klein Collections. And she was marked $4.99. So I paid $2.50 for it because red was on sale. But y'all, look at this blazer. It is amazing. Look at the detail at the bottom. It's so pretty. I saw this and I was like, please let it fit. Please let it fit. Please let it fit. Perfect. Perfect fit. The detail at the bottom just really sets it all off for me. The only thing I wish, I wish it had pockets, but that's okay. Now, it's also missing a button, but that is also okay. That is a easy fix. But this blazer, y'all, I saw myself wearing this so many different ways. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can I say I love it again? Can you tell I love it? The detail on this blazer is so pretty. But for $2.50, there was no way I was going to leave this in the thrift store. And it fit like a glove. There was no way I was going to leave it. Well, that is it, you guys. That rounds up my haul of the things that I purchased today from the thrift store. That also is going to wrap up this week's vlog. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuxLiving4 underscore less. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.